Hello guys, today we'll discuss about pro forma for respiratory system examination. As we all know, all the systemic examination is done under four headings, inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. Starting with inspection. First point to inspect that is shape of the chest. You have to write down whatever is your finding. Normal shape of chest is ellipsoidal. Second, that is respiratory movements. Respiratory movements in that you have to inspect respiratory rate, respiratory rhythm, whether it is regular or irregular, type of respiration, whether it is abdominothoracic or thoracoabdominal, bilateral equality of respiratory movements. Third point to inspect that is shift of mediastinum. For that, you have to assess trachea and apex beat. Fourth point that is pulsation or prominent veins. If they are present or not, you have to note down scar and pigmentations. So this is about inspection. Second point is palpation. In palpation, you have to palpate for any tenderness. You have to examine temperature. All other inspectory findings are also confirmed by palpation. So shape of the chest here, you have to measure transverse as well as anteroposterior diameter, write down your findings, respiratory movements, again abdominothoracic, thoracoabdominal as well as you just have to palpate for bilateral equality of movement in all the regions of the chest. Fifth one, shift of mediastinum, again for that you can palpate apex feet, you can palpate trachea that is trail sign, tactile vocal frameters that is tactile perception of the vibration which are transmitted from vocal cords to the airways and they are palpated so this also you have to write down whether they are bilaterally equal or not third percussion in percussion we have to do a pical percussion that is in supra clavicular space the intercostal spaces percussion is to be carried out on the front part as well as percussion is also carried out on the back. Basal percussion is very important to mark the lower border of the lung that is marked by the liver dullness. You have to note down areas of the liver dullness as well as cardiac dullness. Fourth, that is auscultation. In auscultation, you have to auscultate for air entry, whether bilaterally it is equal or not. Second point is type of breathing. That is also to be auscultated whether it is vesicular breathing or bronchial breathing or bronchovascular breathing. You have to auscultate for vocal resonance, okay? whether it is bilaterally equal or not. And abnormal sounds like rail, strong guy, whether they are present or not. So this is all about respiratory system examination. Thank you all.